G'day. Today we are on one of my favourite little systems in Western Australia and that is the Moore River. What we're primarily going to be doing today is targeting brim on surface lures. Now the surface lure I'm going to be using today is super easy to use and if you're looking to get into surface fishing it could be the lure for you. Of course that's the Berkeley Bender. The Bender is a bent minnow style lure that is super easy to use. It's as simple as cast it out, long pauses, three little twitches and fish on. I'm sure we're going to get into a few today. Hopefully we get some of the surface strikes on the camera and let's have a look and see if we can get it done. Let's go. Oh, did you see that hit? <laughs> it wanted it. That was a good hit. It didn't quite commit enough. <laughs> Just shows that these bent minnows are absolutely deadly. Let's get it back in there quickly. That was a good little swipe. Sorry if the glare's a bit rubbish, but there's not much we can do at the moment. <laughs> Oh, that surface strike. At least we know we're onto the right path. I'm pretty new to this head cam caper, you see, and I'm I, I'm really hoping that I've got it action uh, angled well enough that you guys have seen the two strikes that I've just got. Because if I've oh, you see, there was another one on it then. That was a smaller fish, only a really small little hit, but still, still come out to have a look at it. Oh. They just, they, come on! They just, that was another surface hit. Look, they just, they, oh, and again, come on! <laughs> Eat it! Come <laughs> Oh my god, come on! They, they, they're onto it. They just, they're just not short striking the crap out of this lure. Yeah, there he is. Got him! <laughs> he, I don't know how many goes he had at that. But, but he eventually got onto it. But it just showed that the good thing with it is, oh, he's under the boat, get out of there. He's not the biggest fish in the world uh, by any stretch of the imagination. But I mean, look at that. Brim on bender, brim on bender. And you watched him follow that the whole way to the boat. I mean, that was absolutely magnificent. Get him back in the water. <laughs> I just really hope the head cam grabbed all of that. <laughs> All right, let's turn it around. That last fish was awesome. I can't believe how long he honestly followed that lure for before he decided that enough was enough and I, I'm, I'm going to eat it. Uh, I mean, look, we're, we're fishing in, oh, what does it sound like, 1.4 metres of water. So it's super visual fishing, which is what I really love. But the good thing with these surfaces, as I said, is you, you're, you're literally watching the hits on the surface the whole time. And you just can't beat that. It's exciting, it's fun, the short strikes, you just don't really care because you're having such a great time doing this. You know, and as I said, you can cast these lures deep into snags knowing full well that you're pulling them out. I'm just gonna get a bit closer back in again because it seems like the fish are, you know, although they're out on the flats, they're, 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 they're quite close in. It's just, uh, how much fun is this? How much bloody fun is this? I just hope the glare and everything isn't too much. But I mean, like, look at that water, beautiful. And you know, if we were throwing hards on here, it, it'd still be okay. But the problem is the hards, you know, could be picking up all, 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 the, um, all the weed and stuff that's down there. And it, and it can make it really difficult to fish, to be honest. All right, we've got that line straightener out. Now let's cast back in there. All right, so there we go. We're right in close to that reed. Let's see if we can pull one out of the reeds. Oh, there's got to be one in there. There has to be one on that bank. Just keep watching that lure. Keep 
Chingaloa. Where are ya? Oh! <laughs> there it was again! Well, he can't get. He's still on it! He just, the, the thing is, I'm running out of water! He's still on it! He's literally following it all the way to the boat! Literally following this all the way to the boat! I think he's seen the boat now. Oh, Christ, how much fun! So when fishing these bent minnows, I'm looking for these little shadow lines here and a bit of timber and whatnot. And as I said, the good thing with the bents is you can put them in real tight like that. And because you've got the shadow line, the brim are usually waiting in there um, in ambush. Um, they come out, they just love it. They're just waiting for that little, little bit of prey to come out. Now, of course, I'm going to get made a liar on this cast probably because... I would have expected it to be belted straight off that bank, especially with how the fish have been reacting. But that's, this is pretty much the perfect, perfect, perfect scenario of what I'm looking for. You know, just putting little lob casts in like that, that's all you need to do. You just gotta stay dead quiet. And I say that as I hit the electric. There it is, you saw, there he is, got him. Straight out of that snag there. And that's what I mean, this is the perfect, perfect little scenario for these brim. They're just sitting so tight in there. And the good, the good thing is, well this is a better fish. Ugh. Uh, come out and up we come they're just sitting in there waiting to ambush anything and like well, if we can just not be a muppet and get this fish you can see it's another just beautiful solid little brim on the bender because what they're waiting for they're just waiting for that ambush and that's exactly what we're mimicking um, with with this bender we're, we're mimicking that little fleeing bait fish now I'm in the snags I've pretty much done my dash with <laughs> spooking potential fish. How was that for a session? Plenty of strikes which I hope I got on camera and I'm not going to know until I upload them but we got a couple of nice fish as well which was good. It showed that these benders are a class lure that catch a ton of fish. Of course if you're looking to get into brim fishing I think I demonstrated how easy it is to get brim on surface or at least get a couple of those explosive strikes. What I want you to do though, if you're already into this surface fishing caper, let me know down below in the comments. What's your best brim on surface? Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode as much as I enjoyed fishing it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Catch you later.